I just put up on the screen some rules of thumb, if you will, of what I would call the mentally tough. You know, probably not all encompassing, but but I want you to take a picture of that. I'm just going to kind of describe some of this to you as we go along. Another example I would give you, Thomas Edison. For those of you that uh, slept through history, which I did as well, it's only years later that I've developed a, an interest in history. But uh, so Thomas Edison, for those of you that don't know, is probably considered the greatest inventor in the history of the U.S. He founded a company uh, over time, grew, and, and the name became General Electric, or uh, we know as GE. He founded a company based has been around for 130 years. Well, at about the 20-year mark in that company's history, the whole company's headquarters burned down. Everything burned down. All your papers, all your you know information, all your training, all that stuff gone. It was destroyed. Well, most of the time when that happened, uh, companies just folded. You know, Thomas Edison was quoted saying when that happened, thank goodness uh, that happened. Okay, All our mistakes were burned up. We can start again fresh. See, in a world that we don't control, Tolerance is a huge asset. I can't tell you about people I know that worry, have fear, have anxiety about things they don't control. When things happen, you know, it's, it's like, woe is me. The ability to find energy from what we don't control is an immense competitive advantage. How listen I do it, you can do it however you want. We just give it to God. Okay, the stuff we don't control, anxiety, fear, all those are debilitating emotions. If you can't have debilitating emotions working around in your brain and move forward. By the very definition of debilitating, they seize you and they hold you. All things we don't control, we just give to God. See, mental strength, grit, resilience, self-control, mental toughness, okay? The ability to cope with difficult situations is a significant predictor of success and happiness. Maybe uh, that wasn't modeled for you. I think for most people that wasn't modeled for them. Or maybe it was modeled for you with, with coaches or they're modeled for you with, with parents or whatever. But the cool thing is whether it was modeled for you or not, it's a decision that you make. It's not uh, hereditary. It's not genetic. It's not any of those things. Mentally strong leaders avoid dwelling on the past Avoid resenting the success of others or the, quote, good luck of others, which is, there's no such thing. Things that comparison part, okay? Mentally strong leaders avoid feeling sorry for themselves. They see things objectively. There's no good. There's no bad. There's only our perception.